its base is central in the United States of America. I'm Varkhadat, you're with the Mojo Story. Well, Kamala Harris looks all set to be the candidate for the American presidential elections. This after Joe Biden stepped aside after enormous pressure from within his party. Kamala Harris is the daughter of a woman born in Tamil Nadu, a scientist and a cancer victim. But she's not the only Indian in the mix. There's Usha Vance, the lawyer wife of J.D. Vance, who could be possibly second lady. Usha and Kamla have attracted, of course, a lot of attention here in India, as it looks like the Indian ladies are taking over Washington, D.C. But the real star from the diaspora is Zarna Garg, easily the best, most accessible, most human, most relatable stand-up comic and artist on the comedy circuit today. And it is my enormous uh, pleasure to make sense of these dramatic developments in the United States of America with this very special guest joining us from California today. And we couldn't be more pleased. But Zarna, here's the funny thing. I think I watched you on Fox or one of the other networks where you said, this is terrible. Kamala Harris has let down the side. All Indian parents are going to be so upset. Why? She might be president. What did I say wrong? What did I say wrong? You know that, first of all, you know, she's not a doctor, which is a problem, which is a real problem. She, <laughs> like Usha Vance, I think I was talking about Usha Vance when I said that. And like, I don't know if you read her bio. It is, you know, to white people, impressive. But to us, Indians, what happened? What happened, Usha? What happened to your family? Who hurt you guys? Because her dad is an IIT guy, STEM, STEM, STEM. And as we know, IIT is the best engineering college in the world. IIT rejects end up at MIT and Stanford. This is a fact. I'm an IIT wife. I've been hearing this my whole life. And I verified it. Because you know my wicked mother-in-law has rubbed it in my face like for 25 years. So, But she's not wrong about this. Then Usha's dad, uh, Usha's dad was Usha's dad. Uda, Usha's mom is a marine biologist, also a scientist. What happened? Their daughter got a degree in history? Oh my God. When I read it, I wanted to cry. I'm not even a Chirakuri, and I wanted to cry for the <laughs> Telugu community, for the family. The whole thing was making me very upset. And as I told Fox News, I say it now that being elected to some sort of power position is the very least she can do to like right all the wrongs she has dished out to her parents. She also has a degree in philosophy. Do you know what it is to get a degree in philosophy? Nothing. It is nothing. It's not even worth the paper that it's written on. That's just a fact. So hang on. I mean, are you being facetious? No. Come on. Every kid Come on. I, I mean, surely, surely it's all old hat now that they see no, good desis no, good no, no. have to be doctors, good desis have to go to IIT. This is the misconception. Purani. Nothing has changed, Barka. You and I know that the more things change, the more they stay constant. This is the rule of life. Today, even today, like you go to uh, why am I sitting in California? Because every second, third Indian millionaire is hanging around in the Bay Area. <laughs> and how did they become? They did not become because they were YouTubers. They became because of Google engineers, <coughs> you know, all these meta engineers. That's where the money is. It is just what it is. Now, it's true that we've kind of opened the horizons a little bit. It's not just medicine. Okay, you want to mm. be a dentist? We are coming on board with that. You <laughs> want to do computer? We are kind of coming on board with that. <clears throat> but philosophy, what are you going Luckily, she ended up in law school. It's not a big thing, but it's something. You know what I mean? So you're saying you're saying Usha's let down the side, huh? Usha, bichari. I, her, her parents are probably still crying. <laughs> I'm an NRI parent. Believe me, that pain runs deep. When your kid is going to US college and you are paying tuition in US dollars for a degree that, you know, I mean, I'm just going to say this on an Indian setting you know it's mostly BS, the whole degree. I mean, you don't need to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for a history degree. Just read a history book on Sundays. You're fine. 
I'm trying to keep a straight face here. Now, hang on. I want to play out uh, your immediate hot take uh, when Kamla's name uh, was basically endorsed by Joe Biden. And you did yeah. like this quick. By the way, I love your hot takes on the news. And you had one on Kamla. Uh, let's take a look. And then I have some questions. Let's take sure, a look. Sure, please. Let's go. Biden just endorsed Kamla. Let's go, Indian ladies. Let's go, Kamla. You can do this. You can so do this. We are all with you. Go for it. Take that shot, girl. Let's go, Indian ladies. She seems to be all set. She's raised millions, millions and millions in a record time. Uh, yes. what, do you think, what do you think of her? See, there's this odd thing about America. You know, we've had Indira Gandhi in India. We've had Benazir Bhutto. Uh, we've had Chandrika Kumaratunga in Sri Lanka. Benazir Bhutto in Pakistan. Indira here. We've had very powerful women lead our part of the world. In America, they're still fighting about having a woman as a president. What's going on? And you're saying, let's go Indian ladies. Can Indian ladies do what nobody else has been able to? Yeah, baby, it is the time for Indian women to shine. And I'm here for it. I'm telling you, we were quiet for so long. And now we've exploded like a volcano. We are not leaving any field behind. We even have, listen to me, okay? I don't approve of this personally, but we even have England, uh, Indian lady authors who are kicking ass. I personally don't think any Indian... Why don't you, hang on, why don't you approve of it? Because it's an English major. Come on now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stick to the stem. It, it, it has to be stem, stem, stem. I mean, that's where the jobs are. But it's fine. Once in a while. You, the problem is that when one succeeds, 10,000 other Indian kids who shouldn't be thinking that they have a story in them start writing their stories. But mm -hmm. if your story is not a story, just stick to coding. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I digress. I digress. I think it is the time of the Indian women. Kamla has got it. She's, she's absolutely ready for this. I mean, the woman is one of the most highly accomplished prosecutors of her but time. But she's also a lawyer. Has she also let down the side? I mean, you know, listen, I don't want to say it. She's only half Indian and we tried. We tried <laughs> to keep her on track, but we got to cooperate with the other side also, right? And, and all things considered, she's done well for herself. You know, she is vice president as we speak. That's not the president, so let's not get too excited. But yeah. getting there, we're working. I mean, she's closer than anybody has ever come. That's a yeah. fact. Yeah. And she's turning out. Look at the vote of confidence people are giving. They are giving crazy amount of money to her campaign, which which is not a surprise to me. Everybody thought that if she endorsed her, she had no chance. And I just don't see it. I have spent time with her one on one. She's extremely eloquent, extremely elegant, a brilliant woman. She's going to go the distance. And to answer your first half of the question, yes, we've had Indira Gandhi. Yes, there's been Benazir Bhutto. Yes, there's been all these people. But all of those people have had some connection or some legacy to the offices that they attain. Yeah. Here you have somebody who's come from nowhere and nothing. I mean, that's a remarkable feat, wouldn't you say? Even Hillary Clinton, who came very, very close and who is a lovely lady and extremely qualified was related to an ex-president look yeah. at Kamla's and and even you know Usha's story these are women who just built their lives and built their careers to a position where they are right now yeah. you know this is beating some insurmountable odds it's like you know but but, but you know another prominent member of the Indian American diaspora my friend Padma Lakshmi uh, she she had a post and she said, let's go aunties, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, are we are we now happy about being called aunties? Are you a Zarna auntie? Is Kamla an I'm auntie? a proud auntie. I never saw a problem with it. I think so, the cool people think that an auntie is like a derogatory term hmm. because they're too dumb. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> See, they're cool and they're dumb. They're so I, 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 hang on. Adesh Singh is saying she, meaning you, is a very funny auntie. I have watched her shorts. There you are, funny auntie. Adesh Singh, you, <laughs> me, and a billion other people have watched Auntie Z's shorts. That's why we make shorts. We don't put shorts on. We put them on the YouTube. <laughs> but why don't you have a problem with being called an auntie? Because aunties make the world go around. <laughs> aunties do the heavy lifting of building the community. Aunties, all that chai that everybody loves, chai tea, cha, who's mm. making that cha? It's the aunties. 
If it were I mean, to be I mean, uncle, I mean, Starbucks. Do you know what we would one have minute, him? one minute, yeah. one minute. I have a, I have a complaint on this chai. Yeah. Why has Starbucks culturally appropriated our chai and made it into some nonsense? Yeah. Listen to me. Don't Starbucks did what Starbucks does. It Starbucks created awareness. Thank you, Achha. Starbucks, for telling the whole world how glorious chai is. Now yeah. people know to go looking for the right chai. They know what it is, right? In one shot. <laughs> the whole world knew what the word chai means that is a hmm. starbucks phenomenon so hmm. we take it and now we make it our own you know what i mean that th- this is the story of life they see something good they want to be a part of it i don't see anything wrong with it now we put our own spin now watch 10 indian aunties are going to create chai companies <laughs> but they actually there are if you come to the chai box is an indian chai there are at least five that i can think of really popular chai companies but none of these would exist if starbucks had not imprinted the word chai in everybody's head chalo fair enough let's come back let's come back to the uh, aunties right yes. you said auntie kamala auntie usha and auntie zarna auntie padma lakshmi auntie barkha nothing wrong with being an auntie nothing wrong it's glorious own it ladies own it all of us it's the highest compliment the aunties get stuff done What are the uncles doing? What are all these cool cats doing besides just being trolls? We are doing the heavy lifting of, you know, of building community, of teaching people about our culture, of keeping our kids in line. Do you know how much work that is? Yeah. So there's a there's another comment for you, by the way, and this is from a, a Pakistani American. I love Zarna, especially her family podcast. As a yeah. Pakistani American, I feel so connected to what they say, especially with what Zoya says. I feel heard. and i feel seen that's a lovely comment now you met kamala yes. there's a lovely photograph i think we have it somewhere if we can bring that up there's a photograph of you posing with her and holding her hand what did you say to her when you met her well first of all i said what every indian woman says when she see, meets her that thank you so much for being here just the fact that a woman named kamala is in the white house and is hosting events where by the way behind her is photo bombing narendra modi oh yes prime minister, that's the prime minister i just yes. saw that yeah yes. so yeah, just imagine because mm. kamla is in the white house and she's hosting events where she's inviting me who am i i'm not a billionaire i don't have the the big emeralds and all that i'm not related to anybody famous and i'm married to somebody who's so boring i can't even right now get into it <laughs> Like how does he, how, how does he how does he feel about you calling him boring? He no no he knows. Listen, he he's not in <laughs> denial. We've been together twenty six years almost. He knows he's boring, but he owns it. It's okay. So what I'm saying is that only with Kamla in office could we have had a moment like that, right? Hmm. Where I'm hmm. seated across the table from Prime Minister Modi. Can you even imagine a state? Did you chat? Way? Did you chat with him also? Absolutely. And what did knew, you say? What did I, you say? I said, "Came cho, who comic cho, who stand up comic cho in Gujarati because he's Gujarati, my Gujarati brother." And he he said, "I kid you're you not." You're from Gujarat. You're from Gujarat. My parents are from Gujarat. I grew up in Bombay, but I ah. I am Gujju. I speak okay. fluent. I speak fluent Gujarati, fluent Hindi, and very tooty pooty Marathi because my school required it. Huh. So I said to him, "Came cho uh, who who stand up comic cho?" And this is what he said exactly. I'm telling you verbatim. He said, "Who jano cho?" Meaning, I know that. I know that. Huh. And he said. apne collaborate kare you and me should collaborate i was like oh my god shoot me right now. but that moment would not have happened without kamla aunty so I'll you that. and that's a good point and i'm going to come to kamla aunty in just a moment but i am now captivated by this idea of you and uh, art pradhan mantri ji doing a collab on the comedy circuit if yeah. you could do if you could do a kind of scene a comic scene with the prime minister how how do you think it would go I don't think it's a comic scene with the prime minister. I think his idea was we do comedy that highlights India and America, and that's Correct. the whole. He did come up with the phrase at that luncheon where he said the future is AI, America, and India. Correct. That is something I heard from him, and then I have often repeated because I'm so inspired by him. I tell everybody that I heard it with him, and it is like his idea was that why don't you do comedy that highlight? But that, I already do that. I I was a little nervous to say to him actually sir I already do that all my yeah. comedy is a love letter to India and to America and and it's truly what is in my heart That's lovely that's lovely and there's the picture yeah. oh there's a there's a proper one Yeah 
that's a cool story the ai the future belongs to ai american indian yeah. right so but kamla aunty made it happen i mean i received an invitation from her office directly see this mm. is the beauty of america you don't have to be related to rich people you don't have to be related to powerful people it's a only in america phenomenon otherwise who am i i'm just a regular working woman i mean i there's nothing special about me or what i do but i, I want to i want to speak up for your boring husband for just one moment if oh. i may okay he's Are such you a, he's such a sport my mother and Oh, oh! You gonna speak up for my husband? My husband's fine. Okay, but, go ahead. But listen, hang on. He's such a good sport. He's always starring in your comic pieces on Instagram. How can he be boring? I supported him for twenty years. Do you know what it is to be somebody supporting act for twenty years? Twenty years. I I knew everything about his business. Ask me today what trade he did in two thousand five. and whether he made money or lost money and i can tell you in my sleep hmm. and he's sitting there looking pretty in two of my videos you're going to compare the two you only <laughs> literally i hope my mother knows this thing because barka this is the thing people in india ask her now you know in india everybody oh how do you feel your daughter in law this that yeah. do you know what she tells people hmm. she tells people look at the career my son gave her no yes no yes and no. she slides in my comments bechari no, sasu bai has been car- oh caricature oh caricature caricature ho gaya this is this is a hostile ho interview this is a hostile <laughs> interview that i didn't agree to <laughs> and you know what she does can i tell yeah. you the truth of what yeah. she does yeah. she slides into my comment section where people will say did she really say that did she blah blah and yeah. she slides it she'll be like nahi nahi jhoot bol rahi hai in hindi she'll start writing She does the little Google Translate, and she'll be like, "No, no, Jude, tell me. You just DM me. I will tell you." Then what do you say to her? What oh do you say my to God! Her? Nothing. I can't control her. She writes reviews on every page. My IMDb page, <laughs> two or two, sorry, IMDb page, mm. thousands of five star reviews on my comedy special, twelve mm. or thirteen one star reviews that all came from the same region in India. And are they good reviews? No. There are about twelve reviews that came from the Noida region that are all one star reviews. <laughs> Where did think, those reviews come from? You think your mom in law is sabotaging oh, no, your no, career? Oh no, I know she did, and you know how I know? <laughs> Let me tell you. Her name, I'll, I'll just tell you. Okay, let's say her name is Sangeeta. I'll just make it up for this segment. Okay. Let's yeah. say her name is Sangeeta with a, with one e, Sangeeta, G E T A. Mm-hmm. All the reviews she put three e's. <laughs> because she thinks that she's hiding herself <laughs> it is so dumb the mad- madness that i live with you don't even want to know the madness that i live oh, with it's like <laughs> it is not <laughs> only by the fact that i am also a lawyer like usha and kamla so like i understand both their states of mind very i'm a bad lawyer like they are good lawyers i'm a very bad horrible lawyer how come no you one... never per- how come you never pursued law as a career like usha uh, oh. auntie and kamla auntie Oh I did I did I was practicing for many years hmm. and what happened is that at one point all my clients were in jail <laughs> so I was like had a had to have a little reckoning with myself that you know hmm. maybe this is a good time to admit to yourself that things are not going well <laughs> Now, I tell I people to... don't if you have to come to me for legal advice you know the world is coming to an end <laughs> <laughs> I want to come back to Kamala Auntie. Mm-hmm. You said that you know this is the great American dream only here, and there's truth to that. But yeah. nobody can say her name properly. Even she has stopped saying Kamala. Now she calls herself Kamala. Do it makes no difference. Listen, Barka, you and I are Indian. All these hangups are like all these new <laughs> generation hangups. My <laughs> own parents misspelled my name. What my, do you mean? My Zarna was supposed to be Jarna. Then huh. I think they got tired because I was the fourth kid in a lineup of four. <laughs> I think they were like, "Let the servants just write it out in the paper." And the uh. servants said, "Oh, nobody uses Z. You put a Z." Okay. You know, it's uh. so, who cares? We all don't have these hangups. This is all new age young people hangups. Oh, this mm. is appropriation of culture. Indian people generally, we are agreeable people. Yeah, call her Kamla, call her Kamal, Kamal, call her Komal. We know who you're talking about. <laughs> It doesn't matter. These are all all these Vela young people who don't literally. 
they spend their whole life kissing and hugging their dogs and cats so there are plenty of time to pick battles that don't need I mean, to be fought I, I, I mean that is the ultimate anti response right you had the ultimate anti on your show what do you want me to say to you i agree now i have to ask you a serious question but a serious question hai go for it there are indians here who are saying oh please don't romanticize kamla and usha with some india story we don't want to know that kamla eats idli we don't want to know about usha's telugu connection because when they are there they become american all we should care about is what their policies are towards india this is there's some jadedness also ki you know hum desi log bahut romanticize kar dete hain anyone with a desi link this is a serious question to you aunty zarna what do you say you can romanticize it or not the fact is that life is forever changed a woman hmm. named kamla is going to run for president of united states so Correct. all these people who have opinions they're all like two rupees opinions as they say about critics it means nothing these hmm. women are out there changing the lives and changing their own destiny and along with them the destinies of millions of women who could never even fathom who could never even hit that level of imagination in their lives so yeah. my serious answer to that is that you have to look you know my one of my most favorite sayings of all time listen to what a person does talk is cheap the yeah. fact that kamla is within striking distance of the most powerful political office in the world that says something who cares whether it's romanticized or not the world has forever changed today our imagination has been stretched it today's kamla tomorrow it will be sujata puja it will become normalized before we know it in our own lifetime i agree and, with you and that and, is and... worth something you know the people who do all this talking should probably start with doing something maybe maybe start with creating your own instagram account and see if you can get 100 real followers before you offer a, an opinion well said but i you know the, the other good thing or the other fun thing is she laughs loudly she's not quiet and docile right she's we we are indian aunties we're loud yeah we cackle we laugh we shout we get angry and we dance and we are unique for that do you know that do you know how many brown women from different brown cultures cannot do what you just described really? i see it, yeah, absolutely i see it in clubs all the time the indian ladies come they come in a gang of women together as mm. a girls night out they come with their husband they even come with their mother in laws and they both will laugh out loud because that's the freedom with which we are raised in india but this is not true of every brown culture there's so many cultures where i see the women laugh and pull back because they're nervous they don't want their husbands to see them laughing they don't want their mother in laws to find out that they came to my show even mm. something as completely benign as my show they get nervous i'm not kidding and it happens every day and it happens in america but the indian women we are free and we have arrived we certainly have or you certainly have now i have 2 minutes left with you i have two questions yeah to your daughter are yeah. you finally going to say something different from no. doctor bano engineer bano no. shaadi shaadi kar lo why would i say that doctor banke to pure hamare desh mein itna naam roshan hua hai hindustan logon ka Are you kidding? Why are you putting such kind of shrap on my daughter? Please let her go be a doctor, engineer, computer. कुछ तो सीखो. My daughter was like, oh, I'm going to do English. I said nothing doing. एक तो Stanford का tuition दे दे के मैंने कितने shows की ticket बेचनी पड़ी उसके लिए. <laughs> Then I said you go to the toilet in Stanford. Even the toilet paper should have secrets. You should be reading कि क्या लिखा है वहाँ पे. Do not be wasting my time. Absolutely, I'm saying nothing different to anybody. my daughter your daughter anybody's daughter the advice is the same and son son advice to son is same listen okay i have you seen my son of course on all your he's, videos he's little bit handsome okay just little bit <laughs> i don't want to say very but little bit so thoda i cut him some slack acha typical bit. typical indian mother bete ko sab maaf thoda sa maaf ah, so, very bad Very I mean, bad. Very listen, bad. It, it just is what it is. I I can't like you can't put a thousand years of history on my shoulders and say go change it. And but Kamla should. But Kamla should. And Usha Kamla should. Kamla is working. I applaud her. But like I'm not that good now. Otherwise, I would be sitting in that office. How are you dealing with your kids' dating scene? Oh, it is. My daughter is dating a white boy. It's been very very stressful. But I don't <laughs> say anything. I just do very background type interfering. I don't do like. 
like like i i told so many times i told the boy forget my daughter she's not pretty she's not smart she's it was very so bad opinionated <laughs> i told her i can find you so many more prettier girls and like they will do history sociology easy things mm. you know because then his, his mm. iq and theirs will match leave my <laughs> daughter i said mm. you leave my daughter she's very boring girl mm. she just sits all day on the computer mm. and codes but because you can't say directly to the kid that's a no no today you mm. if you're a modern parent you have mm. to be very like <laughs> anybody <laughs> shows up you have to smile and be like yes yes welcome but mm. then from the back door you you try to fix the situation how's that you, how's that going how's no, that going not well not well right? <laughs> not well i'm still on it okay i have to put you on the spot and ask you who do you like better usha or kamla um i will tell you because i know more about kamla and because mm. i know her work she's lived in the public eye for a long time yeah if she ends up running america i will be very happy and very comfortable with it mm. usha is very new so it's like not fair to for me to be like i like her or i don't like her i loved what i saw i thought she was an extremely elegant i mean as an indian woman i was bursting with pride that this is who's representing us mm. Yeah. you know like the way she speaks the intelligence i mean it's yale law school okay fine it's not harvard so let's relax now but <laughs> it, it's a, it's fine like it's a good law school the way she spoke about her husband her kids incredible but Kamala but i mean was, but i mean her husband has some dodgy views on marriage and divorce listen everybody has got dodgy views yeah i've got more dodgy views than anybody else no you don't really you're only acting no no what you're saying <laughs> the minute i get famous in hollywood this one's out he knows that that so i'm going to do the only. the boring husband quote yeah, and out. he also he, every day for 10 years i think he was praying ke koi isko kidnap karke le jao please meri jaan chhodo meri so we are totally fine with the not dodgy but my views are to very dodgy my moral compass cannot be any lower <laughs> good for I, you <laughs> i tell my team i'm like if we can't if the comedy thing doesn't work out if the instagram doesn't work out if the influencing doesn't work out next up is the world's first auntie uncle sex video it's coming What? baby <laughs> yeah 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 we stop at nothing but, but uncle is up for this uncle is up for this did you hear me when i said i supported him for 20 years <laughs> did you I hear did. me तो तो अभी तो बहुत इनकमिंग मेरा अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल अभी बहुत बाकी है ओके आई गॉट टू एंड विद योर मैनिफेस्टिंग फॉर व्हाट यू गो टू बी डूइंग नेक्स्ट सो आई वांट टू शो एवरीबॉडी योर कमेंट इट्स अ रियली फनी ट्विटर कमेंट दैट यू हैड आई थिंक यू पुट इट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम आल्सो एंड यू सेड इफ यू कैन ब्रिंग इट अप नाउ यू सेड एन इंडियन लेडी इज माइट बिकम प्रेसिडेंट there it is an indian lady might become president of the united states an indian lady might become the second lady of the united states what's next an indian lady comedian hosting the oscars why not It's, why not why not what why is not? there the oscars people get all nervous i'm like ye to this is smaller than an indian wedding relax we got this baby <laughs> why not i'm all for taking the biggest shots that are available in life for all of us So, Auntie Zarna, what do you? What do you, apart from the Oscars? What do you want to do next? Kamla is aiming for the White House. Usha is aiming to be, you know, possibly second lady. What are you aiming for? I'm going to create the world's biggest South Asian family comedy hub. That's my goal. That's my mission. Uh, I have my mission very clear. I don't uh, putter around. I don't play in other random pods. Mm-hmm. I am a clean family co- comedian and I'm known as that in America and in the world and that is the hub that I'm going to build and develop a world where all families can come together and enjoy very smart very thoughtful family comedy because I believe families and friends should laugh together even people's and their mother-in-laws like you know not my mother-in-law but like if other people want to bring their mother-in-laws and laugh with me it I'm all for it I think This is the thing we are missing in the world today and I'm going to fill that space and I'm telling you that I'm going to do it. Fabulous and we are cheering for you Auntie Zarna. Thank you you made us laugh here in India. Any last words for the desis here or there all watching this and the non desis too? Dude everybody get on board and cheer on what's going on because Indian women have arrived. Step aside Indian men, Indian uncles relax. 
we know you're grumpy we know you're very tired why don't you take a day or two off and let the indian women run the show that is my last word to everybody i say let's welcome all these changes with a big heart with an open mind and let's cheer them all on because every door that they open is a door that they open forever for all of us and god knows i need some open doors because like that, you know who's following me constantly my wicked mother in law <laughs> got meet this wicked mother in law in real yeah, life she's going to listen but she if she reaches out to you and says ab mera bhi interview karo i'm telling uh-huh. you right now i'm uh-huh. going to be so upset if you no, give I'm her no i'm on your side platform. i'm on your side but she will harass you i'm telling you right now it's coming oh okay i will block her shall i block her don't block her it's okay now if you want to talk are you having just... are you having chai famous aunty no chai? i i'm having it is 1 am in california right now so i am having water you don't block my mother in law this is what i tell people to do because she's done this mm-hmm. before i just told a wall street journal reporter this do mm-hmm. the interview with her shoot it and then put it on my space <laughs> that's the solution <laughs> okay it's 1 am we're going to let you get some sleep thank you zarna gard such a pleasure thank Take you barka such an honor to to have this chat with you you're such an icon and i cannot thank believe you. i'm in the same frame as you not at all the pleasure and the honor is all mine thank you and lots of love take care bye namaste bye namaste bye it's great to see you here thank you for watching our work If you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo's story and support independent robust journalism